normal. Life is going to go on as normal in week one. It started last night. Now, behind the scenes, things are starting to shake and crack a little bit. Retailers, manufacturers, and businesses that depend on regular shipments are beginning to feel the pinch in week one. The just-in-time supply system, you know, that we all learned about in COVID, that's beginning to have a little bit of a strain, and it's starting to wobble a little bit. And while the shelves are still full for now, the stock rooms in the back are running thin. By week two, by the second week, you're going to start feeling things. So next week, uh, maybe midweek, you'll, if it's still going on, maybe you head for the store and something as simple as bananas or a pair of new shoes, suddenly the shelves aren't as full. Some items just aren't there. Fresh avocados or berries that you've gotten used to, they're sitting on ships waiting to dock. And it's not just food. It's electronics. It's clothing. Even toys for your kids they start becoming harder to find. Prices? By week two, they may start on some items to inch upward. Businesses are now scrambling to get their hands on what's left, and the competition drives up cost. That cheap TV that you were thinking of buying, you may have to add anywhere from 10 to 30% to the price tag by the end of week two. If you were planning on doing some home repairs or upgrades, good luck. All of the tools and materials are sitting in crates gathering dust at the ports. This is also a problem because of the hurricane. Anything that you get at Home Depot is going to be in short supply because of the hurricane and by week two, the dock workers strike. Now, by the third week, if it goes on that long, now we're getting uh, into some problems. It's no longer just a shortage of bananas or phone chargers. Entire industries begin to slow down. Factories that rely on parts from overseas just in time can't keep running. So the workers in those factories, people you might know, maybe it is you, are getting furloughed, sent home without pay because there's nothing for you to build. Grocery stores begin to ration some items and limiting on some items how much you can buy. Now, at this point, the strike is not a nuisance. This is week three. This point in week three, it becomes a crisis. The online orders you placed, delayed, weeks out. Businesses are pleading with the government for help by now, but even if the strike ended, In week three, it would take weeks to untangle the mess at the ports. By now, inflation is beginning to rear its ugly head. Everything from groceries to gas to clothes is more expensive than it was just two weeks ago. Week four. This is is when it becomes the full weight of the strike is unavoidable, and I believe it becomes a national security problem. Uh, And possibly by this time in week four, it is just one part of what I am looking for, and we'll explain later on the show, a poly crisis. A poly crisis is what will take us out in a knockout blow. And you already have a little bit of a poly crisis with the dock workers and the hurricane. Small businesses are now closing their doors because they can't get their inventory. Grocery store shelves are sparse with some items missing altogether. Your favorite brands might be out of stock. Maybe you head to the hardware store only to find that the building materials you need are either unavailable or so expensive they're out of reach. 